Hey friends, I hope you're all alright. It's really nice to see you. I thought I'd just pop on here just for a little chat and just see if you guys are alright. I'd just like to come on here and like chat to you guys because I just like to um see how you're all doing and I just like to hear from you. Um because I'm just talking I'm just talking to my friends. Um so it's nice it's always nice to hear from you guys um when I'm reading your messages and I reply back to them. We have a little chat. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It lifts me up a little bit. Um, so, um, right, where do I start? So, um, so obviously, as you know, my mum's not in the best of health, bless her. Um, she got the all clear on cancer, which is good, but the chemo stays in your system for ages. So she's just having side effects. It's all like coming out of her system now. Um, with her swollen legs, we we try everything, you know, we tried the Revitive Medic and and the support stockings and stuff, you know, and resting her legs and stuff. Um but she does really struggle, um you know, especially with the stairs and we're in talks with a few people because um having um uh, I don't. I, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but there's a possibility. I mean, um, that because if if I do become her full time carer, like I say, we we're in talks with a few people, like the social services and stuff, and they're chasing it all up. Um, uh, they talked about having a banister put in, an extra banister for her to pull herself up the stairs, but her legs are so weak. The banister's a bit pointless, really. So we really do need a stair lift. So we're going to chase that up. So fingers crossed, and um, and I should be entitled to a carer's allowance and become a full time carer for my mum. Um, you know, like I say, she does really struggle with the stairs, and I, you know, I'm now seen as a carer. It's now being. Um, <coughs> Uh, what's the word, it's kind of being acknowledged now, you know, it's kind of, you know, um, and I worry that, you know, because she's had two falls already, where, you know, she's fallen over the, the cat, and, uh, you know, because he's always getting under her feet, and, um, but I worry because, like, I don't think work really gets it, but where I work at Tesco's, you know, like if my stepdad's asleep or, you know, my, as you know, he's much used as a bloody chocolate teapot, but if he's out shopping or something or he's doing something um, and I'm at work and, you know, you know, she's very limited in what she can do. She can, like, take herself to the bathroom, take herself to the toilet, and, you know, um, but um, I don't want her having another fall, you know, so I've got to be here all the time, you know, so I'm just, fingers crossed, it all goes in our favour. Um, we, As you know, we've got the scooter now, um, and uh, that's sitting um, in the... Uh, <coughs> um, in the living room, all folded away. I should, I might do a video on that tomorrow. Just like um, take a couple of pictures and just show you, um, yeah, uh, the scooter. Um, but um, so, in some respect, things are some things are looking up. But uh, just uh, just want my old mum back again, you know, and it's. And I feel like doing YouTube and coming on here talking to you guys, it just is sort of, you make it better, you know, um, that I'm not going it alone, you know, I'm not on my own. Um, you just, yeah, you just lift me up, you know, and I hope you realise, you know, that you do, you, you do pick me up again and you make it feel all right, you know. I've got something to look forward to if that makes sense um <clears throat> but um i can see how fed up mum is now and uh you know she said oh 
I don't know if I can do this anymore, you know, I'm fed up with it all. And I I say to it, and it, it, it's hard for me to hear, it's like, it, um, it, it is hard because I don't, um, I don't want to give it up, you know, I, you know, but there's only so much you can take and, you know, <clears throat> Um, yeah, she's got a, a sore on her back where, um, I was the right song and dance getting the bloody, um, cream, the right cream. And Sainsbury's wouldn't give it to us, and the bloody doctors kept giving us the alternative. But we've now changed, hopefully, from Sainsbury's pharmacy to Tesco's pharmacy. It's a lot more easier now because I work at Tesco, so I can just pick up the prescription um, when I'm at work, you know. And um, so we, I, well, I spoke to a couple of um, pharmacists and they gave me um the like names of these creams you know that uh, should do the trick um but um yeah just it's so painful that it's like a little blister and it's burst and you know uh yeah but um but uh i can see like how fed up she gets and um and sometimes she's like sitting up and she's watching her telly, watching her soaps and that. And then other times she's just so tired and, you know, very tired and fatigued. And she's tried a few things, but I think she's just getting so fed up with, like, it's just, it's tablets, medicine, medicine, tablets, you know, cream that, you know, you just get fed up in the end, you know, like, um, the, uh, I think it's called Barocco or something, Barocco, the uh, tablets that you add to water and it's meant to give you energy, it like fizzes up in water. And then we tried the Metatone, it's a liquid, it's like, it tastes like syrup of figs. And um, so, but um, because she's on steroids um, and they're a bugger, even though they, they help with um, like her eating, <clears throat> but they just make her tired and like they cause swelling and cause hair loss um but we got that um i think it's called alpacine it helps with the uh, present uh hair loss i i probably in boots it was on one of my uh um shopping hauls and i was like putting that in her hair and just massaging her hair last night you know so and she could really feel it working you know, um, you know, really penetrating the skin. It's very kind of like a menthol smell, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we're trying every remedy and everything that you know, um, that we're suggested. So, um, that people suggest to us. So fingers crossed. Um, and just with the current situation as well, it's just like you know not being able to get out and like I mean well I I kind of have you know but just <clears throat> not being able to see friends and that I mean I know I mean it sounds like I'm feeling sorry for myself because oh I can't go and see friends you know because we're all in the same boat you know but just <clears throat> you know you would in this situation when you're feeling a bit crap or you know, you've got a lot of stuff going on in your life, you know, how easy would it be, like, if this thing wasn't going on at the moment, you could easily just meet up with a friend and have a hug and, you know, just have an hour with them or something, to have a walk with or something, or just go around their house for a cup of tea, and you can't even do that, and it's just, yeah... I hope this is making sense. I hope it's making sense and I'm just not sound like I'm rambling, you know. But I'm being strong as much as I can be. Um so I know I'm getting upset, I'm getting um I just 
I just want my old mum back, that's all. I just want, you know, but I'm trying to stay strong as I, as I can. And I want you guys to know that, um, sorry. <sighs> Coming on here and just reading your messages, it, it does help it. It lifts me up and it makes me feel better. So I want you to, guys to know what you're doing for me. I want you to know what it does for me and mum. It makes us feel good. And just thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much. Honestly, I wish I could meet you in person and give you a hug. But I like the song... Uh, by Dream, uh, things can only get better. Yeah, things have got to get better. <clears throat> um, so, Mum had her first vaccine, um, and she's having her second one. <sighs> Sorry. And. Uh, there's no way that she'd be able to get, you know, get out. It's, it's too much for her. So, um, she's been put on the waiting list for a second one, and she she don't mind being put on the waiting list. You know, she's happy to wait. Uh, so it's going to be in April sometime. Um. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Oh, we've got the radiators on as well, which I'm like, oh, so I'm sweating out a bit. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Right. I'm back in the room again. Gather. Um, so, yeah, she's going to be having her second vaccine, but she requested it at home. She wants someone to come in and do the vaccine at home because there's no way. It's just it's a big, it's a song and dance, you know, like getting out and about, you know, so it, so. So that's going ahead. So we that's that's something. Um, yeah, um, like yeah. So she's getting her second vaccine at home, but you know sometimes when you just feel like, uh, when it's one step forward and then another two step, two steps back kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you think, oh, you know, things are looking up and, you know, stay positive and, you know, and things are looking up and then something, oh, I don't know, something happens and, you know, but, uh, so far so good. But, um, thank you so much, honestly. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Everybody, you know, um, I really hope you know how how thankful I am towards you guys. And I'm sorry for the way I look. I've still like yesterday's hair. Oh, I look like an absolute bloody tramp. So forgive me for the way I look. But I hope you know everyone and I wish I could, I would say all your names, but I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, but everybody who watches my videos, my true friends, um... Yeah, and you know who you are, honestly. Um, my true, true friends who watch my videos. You guys. You. Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart for just, not just watching my videos, but thank you for the love 
and the support that you give me in the messages you know i i really feel it i really do honestly i want you to know how much i feel it i really do and i just want to thank you all so so much from the bottom of my heart thank you so so much for just being there for me thank thank you so much honestly um yeah just feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment thank you ever so much all of you um yeah just thank you so much for being there thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah and i truly do honestly you mean a lot to me you really do you really do mean a lot um thank you so much Right. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I'm going to have my water now. <coughs> <coughs> oh. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching. Um, please, please, please leave me a comment if you... Um, yeah, and I'll get back to you. And uh, uh, I was going to say, lick the like button. Lick the no, you don't want to do that. Lick, lick the like button. Uh, uh, click the like button. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, give myself a sore throat now for all the crying I'm doing. And I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will. I'll probably be back on a Tuesday actually because I'm I'm in work and and I'll probably go around and get a few things after work so I'll be bringing you a Tesco's haul um yeah so I'm gonna go and enjoy my water now and I'm just gonna chill I'm gonna go to bed get some sleep <sighs> yeah ready for Monday morning <laughs> um yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I love you so, so much. And just, I hope you have a good week. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you had a, a really good uh, um, weekend. Um, I will, while I'm here, I will give one uh, big shout out to a friend of mine on here uh, called Emma from Emma's Lifestyles. Um, it was her wedding anniversary today. Uh, so I want to wish her and her husband a very happy anniversary happy anniversary emma i hope you've had a really wonderful day i really hope you've had a, a really good day honestly happy anniversary <laughs> cheers yeah sorry it's not a glass of wine or you know but it's a glass of water i know boring but cheers to emma and her husband happy anniversary and uh Right, so I'm going to shut up babbling now. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Um, yeah, I love you all and I'll see you in the week. And thank you ever so much for watching. And you guys continue to stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Oh, God, here I go again. <laughs> stay, stay safe and just take care. Take care. Try not to spill my water. <laughs> See you later, guys. Take care. Bye now. Bye.